and welcome to my first English tutorial. I want to show you how you could configure your PH bot for the new private server of Project Hex. So, in the first step, please be sure to always have your client up to date and also your bot. So, let's take a look first if there are any updates. Now we can start the game, so everything is alright. For the next step, you need a normal folder with your ph bot. It, can, uh, it could be the same folder as normally. There's no problem. You could have different configs and mix it up with the normal one. So as you see, here's already a file because I click it once, I will delete it. So we can start from a new way. Please be sure that you open your PH board as or in administrator mode so you don't have problems to launch the client. So just open your PH board and um, as you see, I'm already logged in and can choose my locale. So for this way, I want um, to configure it a private server. So just click OK. And as you see on the upper tab, you select a new one. So let's give it a name. I will simply do it by PHBot. Well, you can choose whatever you want. Okay, that's no problem. You can say private server one, two, or whatever. For the next step, before you try to search some information about your host or anything, you can just um, select the path. So we are here. Um, for me, I just choose all this folder here. So I direct it to my PHSRO folder where the normal game client is in. Just select this folder and you will get some information like the division, the host, also the port and version. Everything should be done till now because it's quite easily all information are in the right fields. Um, for the last, if you want to configure um, another private server, you might choose one of these um, options. So please be informed if you uh, play on the Black Rouge or THSRO server or whatever for the Project Hex Silk Road private server, you don't need to select anything here on the bottom. So please just save this. Okay, we get an information, it's saved. Now we can close it. And we can select our server PHBot. Well, I think I want to show it again, just get a look how it should look like and we are done. Please remember the name you choose for your private server because in the next tutorial I want to show you how you could enter the game with your manager and you will need the name again. So, okay. Um, as you see, the DB3 file is out outdated or it needs to be updated, just click OK. It will take a little while, but that's okay. We will wait for it. Okay, data load status 100%. We are ready and I want to show you that you simply can launch the client. Well, just by the way, I think this is a great server. Okay. Well, that's all to know. Now you can use your PH bot for the new private server. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. I will show you up some more and please be informed if there maybe come new videos for you and leave a comment if you like it or not. Thanks for watching.